Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Today we're going to complete our first assignment on functions. Basically what you're going to be doing is writing four separate functions. The first is going to be a fortune teller function, kind of like the old elementary school thing where who, who are you going to marry, how many kids are you going to have type thing. So you're going to, for your fortune teller function, you're going to write a function called tell fortune that takes four arguments. Number of children, partner's name, location, and a job title. Now remember, you can name these anything you want in, inside the function declaration. Your variables can be named anything you want. The function should print out a sentence in the following format. You will be a job title, in other words, right there, in location, married to partner, with number of children. For example, you'll be a shopping cart reallocation technician in Cucamonga, California, married to Donald Trump with 17 children. God help you. Now notice, this function is simply printing this to the console. You can not It's not returning anything, it's just printing this to console.log. Write a function called calc circle that takes one argument, the radius of a circle. It should calculate the circumference of that circle with the radius and log the circumference and area to the console, limiting to two decimals. For example, the circumference is 31.42 and the area is 78.54. Notice we are going to two decimals. I have not told you how to do this, but Google can. It's very simple. So you're just logging that to the console. Now these first two you'll notice are logging to the console. This next one is returning. Write a function called basic math that takes three arguments, two numbers and a string. The string should be one of the four basic math operators, add, subtract, multiply, divide. Your function should perform that provided operation on the two numbers and return, not log, the result. The first number should be first in the calculations. For example, basic math 2, 4, subtract should print negative 2 because 2 minus 4, not the other way around. That makes sense. The order matters. So put your first number first. Be sure to handle edge cases such as passing in other stuff for the third argument, trying to divide by 0, etc. This one is going to test your if-else type logic. There's going to be a lot of if-elses in here. So I'll just go ahead and let you know because you're, you're going to have if C, whatever your third input, whatever you decide to name it. If it equals add, do one thing. If it equals subtract, do something else. If it equals divide, do something else. If it equals divide and inside of there, if one of these is zero, you got to do something because you can't divide by zero. So, so on and so forth. And then finally, randomizer. Write a function called randomizer that takes two numbers as arguments, a min and a max. It should return a random integer, no decimals, so you want an int, a full int, no decimals, between the two arguments, inclusive, meaning if you put in a 2 and a 4, it should be either 2, 3, or 4. It should work whether the first number is larger or smaller than the second. Be sure to handle edge cases, such as entering the same number for both arguments, entering words instead of numbers. If it enters words, what are you going to do? I would just have it return something that says, hey, those aren't numbers. Something like that. So it's returning again. These are, these are returning. These are not console.logging. The first two are console logging. The last two are returning. If you run into any issues, Google this. These are, these are things that you should be able to Google. I purposely included stuff like random. We haven't talked about random, but it's very simple if you just Google it, okay? There's going to be a lot of this course is problem solving and looking at, looking at documentation, looking at Stack Overflow. So go ahead and get used to that if you're not already. I'm going to do my very best to prepare you and, to, and, and show you everything you need. But there is so much in JavaScript and so much in CSS and so much in HTML. that It's just, just not possible to cover every single edge case, not in the time frame that we have. So get used to Stack Overflow. I'm going to do my best, and if you have any questions, obviously, let me know. I'll be happy to help, but do your best to try and, and troubleshoot your own stuff. If you have any questions, if you have any problems, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Thanks.